Hey everyone, this is just going to be a quick video explaining some tips and information about putting together the discussion section of your research manuscript. Okay, so let's get started. The goal of your discussion section is to interpret the results for your readers and show the significance of your findings. What you want to be careful to avoid is repeating your results section. The difference between these two sections is that in your discussion section, you explain the implications of your findings and improvements that can be made. Basically, it's the meaning and importance of your result. In your results section, on the other hand, you will objectively present the results of your research without interpretation. For more information on the results section of your paper, check out our last video, link is in the description. When organizing the discussion section, there are many different methods to choose from. For this video, we're going to focus on three different options. The first is to structure your discussion section like an upside down funnel. As you go from the beginning to the middle and then to the end of your discussion, the information that you present goes from narrow to broad. So you start by focusing on your study and your findings and then slowly transition to ending with how your research connects to your broader field of study. When structured this way, the beginning section will provide answers to your primary research question. The middle of your discussion will compare your research with previous research to support the study. It will also offer interpretations of your results in order to defend your answers. And it will detail the strengths and limitations of the study. The end of your discussion section will then provide the conclusion and the significance of the study in filling gaps within the field. The second option is to begin by discussing important findings, then provide a comparison of your results with other works, then detail the strengths and limitations of your study, next provide a conclusion and possible implications for your study, including its significance. And finally, your discussion would end by detailing potential future research questions based on your findings. The last way you can structure your discussion section is to follow this outline for your different paragraphs. In your first paragraph, you'd provide an interpretation based on your key findings. You would also want to include support for your interpretation with evidence. Your middle paragraph should detail information such as any secondary results, limitations, unexpected findings, and include comparisons to previous publications. Your final paragraph, based on this structure, would provide a summary or conclusion along with the significance, implications, and potential next steps. The type of structure you choose is really a matter of preference. Your goal, ultimately, is to present an interpretation of your findings and you want to be as thorough as possible. Beyond organization, here are a few tips to help with writing the discussion section that I want to highlight just very quickly. The first is to be sure to clearly highlight the significance of your findings. Second is, despite however you decide to structure your discussion section, make sure to include information about how your study will fill in the gaps of knowledge in your field. Third tip is to always indicate the implications of your research. And finally, the last tip is to avoid generalizing or misinterpreting your results. You want to make sure your evidence clearly supports the interpretation. Be careful not to draw conclusions without having supportive findings from your results section. When it comes down to it, having a plan for the structure of your discussion section and knowing the information you want in there is really going to help make the process of writing this section easier. If you're interested in more information and tips about writing your upcoming research manuscript, we do have a handbook available on our website. We'll have the link for that posted in the description below. Besides information on how to write the results and discussion sections and other sections of your manuscript, it provides a lot of other writing tips, research tips, and so much more. If this information was helpful, be sure to give it a like and subscribe, and hey, share it with a colleague who might benefit from this too. And don't forget to check out goldbio.com for access to high-quality reagents and helpful resources for your research.